segment of that 10 centimeters internally in the ratio of 3 to 2. So, already have discussed in primary classes. This is a divider and the scale, ruler, and set square. They are using this key to construct this one. That is length of 10 centimeters of line segment and uh, its ratio is internally its ratio is 3 is to 2 let's draw a line segment which is 10 centimeters let's take this is 10 centimeters we draw a line segment Centimeters of line segment and check it made as AB and it is 10 centimeters. Now let's draw an acute angle for line segment AB with acute angle for any one of the side of it. So check it towards upside. They have taken some of the angle, which is an acute angle. We're drawing an acute angle. This is an acute angle. So this is a ray X. We're drawing an acute angle, which is BAX. BAX is an acute angle. Angle B A X is an acute angle. So let's divide this A X into five parts. The reason is here we need to divide the line segment internally in the ratio of three to two. And three is two. There are five parts. That is nothing but. And two, three plus two, five parts. So let us take the five parts, equal parts on a x. So we have, we are taking a constant length on the compass. Constant length is taken on the compass, and let's draw on it. point on it the second one third one fourth one and fifth one ax is divided into five equal parts that is up to here its names are taken as a1 a2 a3 a4 and A5 are five equal parts. A, A and A1 is one of the parts, and A1, A2, A2, A3, A4, A, A3, A4, and A4, A5 are five equal parts we have taken on acute angle on the ray of AX. So let's join A5 and B. Join. A5 B that we get the line segment is joined using the line segment we join A5 and B using the ruler so a close figure is formed here A5B. So here we know that there are five equal parts and there are internally it divides the ratio of 3 to 2. So we need to divide after three parts. So let's take parallel side for A5B by the inside of this diagram as a it should be 
from T T because this is three parts and two parts should be divided. So we have divided A X to five equal parts. So equal parts are like that. A one, A one, A two, A two, A three, A three, A four, and A four, A five. For five equal parts, from this we have joined A five and B. Then we draw a line which is parallel to A five and B. Just take this scale or for the side of A five B. We have taken the scale. The side of A five B. Then the set square is taken on the base of the scale. Then just let's move this A towards the point A three. Just we have moved the scale towards the point A three. So this is the point A three. And then just look at here A five, A four, and this is the point A three. We have taken on this. So for this point, using this point, draw a line uh, which is meeting the line segment AB. We have taken the point A three and join with the line segment. Which is touching AB, so we got a line segment which is from A3. Let's take it name as P. So A3P. So A3P is parallel to A5B. The reason is we have taken a parallel line to the using the set square the square ruler. So we have taken like this, and then this place the scale is placed on A5B. The Set square is taken on the base of the ruler and we move this. It's, it's a panel, this both are parallel to each other. So we have taken on the base of it and let's move this A towards the point A3 and we took here and then we have joined from A3 to the line segment AB. We got a line segment that's e a p here. Points are A three, A one, A two, A three, A four, and A five, and then A three P are the three parts, and the remaining are two parts. And here the line segment, which is A P, are three parts, and the three parts these are, uh, and P B is two parts. Parts. So the reason we have taken a parallel line to know this and we have joined it. So A P is three parts and uh, you know, B B is two parts. So what we need to prove that the line segment is of 10 centimeters. It is internally the ratio of three is to two. It's divided. The line segment of 10 centimeters is divided internally. Internally, the ratio of three is to two. The line segment is divided three parts into two parts. It's nothing but three is to two. So the construction is completed. Constructing triangle similar to the given triangle ABC. The sides equal to three by four of the corresponding of the triangle ABC. Let's take one. Construct a triangle similar to the given triangle ABC. The sides equals to. 3 by 4 of the corresponding sides of triangle ABC. So let's draw a side. I have taken a side of a triangle. Then from this triangle. It's a base of it. Uh, let's take an acute angle for any one of the sides. So let's draw angle of this base of a triangle. We are taking the acute angle 
Let's go on. A Q triangle for it. It's an A Q triangle. They have taken. It's a way they have drawn. So this is. Let's take A B. A B is the base of a triangle, and uh, we have taken. X that is an actual triangle and uh, BAX is an actual triangle. And AB is the sign of triangle, AB is one of the sign, it's a base of a triangle. We need to consider triangle ABC for this. Let's take 3 by 4 parts. Nothing but 3 by 4 is nothing but 3 plus 1 is a numerator is greater. So let's take the total sides as 4 sides. Our 4 sides are there. That 4 sides itself we have 3 and 4 parts. So let's take only 4 parts there. By using compass, let's divide this. Into four parts. We are dividing the AX, the ray, 